हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द फ्री ऑटोमेशन लर्निंग माय नेम इज चिराग सिंह एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स दैट इज एक्सपाथ हाउ टू बी आइडेंटिफाई वेब एलिमेंट बाय यूजिंग एक्सपाथ सो वी कैन आइडेंटिफाई वेब एलिमेंट बाय यूजिंग डिफरेंट वे एज वी डिस्कस्ड इन प्रीवियस वीडियो दैट वी कैन identify by id we can identify by name we can identify class name we can identify by css but they, there uh, will be many uh, cases where you do not identify any specific or unique name of id name class name anything then you have go to uh, identify that web element by xpath or css so in this video i am going to discuss the xpath how we can identify Uh, web element through xpath so in this uh, video i will discuss nine different way to identify the x uh, the web element through xpath so firstly we just uh, see the syntax what is the syntax of the xpath so syntax of xpath would be like this first we have to write the tag name second we have we have this bracket uh then we have a at the rate and then we have the attribute name is equal to and attribute value and closing the uh, this bracket so this is the syntax of the xpath now i am going to show you practically so i am open this uh, facebook application so friend i already discussed that you need to download firepath or sometimes you need to identify by selenium ide so i will go to use both the things how we can identify by firepath or how we can identify by selenium ide right so now let me first discuss you what is a tag name so let me maximize this so friend this is a tag name input is a tag name at the this id is a attribute name and this is a attribute value right now let me write first we in the syntax we have this double backward slash it means it is a relative xpath right there is a two kind of xpath first is relative and another was is absolute if there is one the in this kind of uh, black slash it means the the xpath would be a absolute xpath so absolute a xpath is not much stable comparison with relative xpath so we in this video we are going to learn relative xpath so that you can easily identify the xpath and uh, and uh, by uh, approaching uh, to identify good xpath you can uh, your test script would be more stable as comparison as absolute xpath so first we have this double black slash then we have a tag name my tag name is input now i have the uh, this suppose uh, i need to identify by id so i have to give at the rate then this attribute value attribute name is id now is equal is equal to double colon bracket close and this would be my attribute value so i have to give this value inside this right now if i will hit then this will come right so for this double uh, cross check i will just copy the xpath which i identify by firepath just copy and place to ide and keep here and just click on find just let me minimize this now find you see this is highlighting so my xpath is good 
and we can use this xpath so this is the syntax of normal xpath right now we we have discussed this we have this discussed the, the tag with attribute value so we have discussed this any tag with attribute value right it means if uh, uh, let me open html once again let me expand this so you can guys easily see this is a input so we have given let me open it still in my id yes so this is the input and this is a my tag name in some case i do not know the tag name or the tag name uh, would be not useful like so if i give this star it also work it means it does not mean mat uh, matter for the tag name it it just matter for the id and this value if this value or id match it doesn't matter if the tag name would be input or tag name would be div it doesn't matter in where this id match this just go and highlight so this way we can also identify the x path let me find see we can able to identify this kind of x path it means it does not matter for the tag name when we use star so now we can use and operator sometimes my value or my web element is too complex that we are not able to identify by single uh, attribute name and value at that condition we can use and and means uh, when both the uh, attribute value matches then just uh, give the that x path uh, that would be the correct x path so by you doing this we can uh, identify suppose i need to identify my first name i go and click over there this is the input and this is the first name so just uh, i will identify this input at the rate name would be my name now first name is my attribute value so this is the way i identify this first name right now i need to identify that suppose the in in the application there is a two first name first name is there is a application where first name would be a button and other uh, other same page other way there is a text field and we need to identify the xpath for the text field so text field type will be text so uh, at that time we can use we can use and at the rate type is equal to in this way it is working right because type is equal to text and name is equal to first name suppose i change text is text one now it is not going to work because at end condition both the attribute value should be match on the page uh, on the web element or you may say html see there is no matching nodes and there is nothing like show this you on firefox you easily understand first i am going to with text and identify see it is highlighting now i am change text into text one now i'm try to find see no no locator not found so this is the reason of why we use uh, this and operator right when we have to fetch or get x path with two attribute value now or operator or operator means if attribute one is match then return that locator if uh, attribute two match then uh, uh, return that locator 
so in if i use or in this case then it would be work because first name would be matched to the html see if i am using this or it is matching so this is the way of or how we can use or or we can use we can just give to the our driver uh, driver dot find element boss just go and find if attribute one is match then okay just click on this or do whatever we have designed or if attribute value two is match then do this whatever we have given but and end case if both are condition both attribute would match then do this if it is not matching then just fail the uh, thing or do whatever we have right on the code so this is the way how we can identify or now this is contains so contains is very important uh, terms to find x path so contains can work where uh, there where the value of the attribute is changing suppose let me how we can the syntax of the this let me show on there what is the syntax of the contains so after i'm going to put contains so this is the syntax of if i will change name uh, e then also it's work because we use contains we use this contains over here it means first name if match at the name just use that so you can see this is the first name over here and we write only first na name now i just use first name here and i used contains name is equal to first so use this so this is the most important things almost every web element we have to use to identify this contains mostly to identify this uh, this type uh, for mostly identify web element we have to use this contains right now next for matching at any attribute so for this way we can also do the things this input right here we have given attribute name is equal to star it does not matter what would be the attribute name it just check this first name if first name match over on the my html then it just give and highlight the this position so this is my first name so next would be our go to parent suppose i have on here right now i have to go to my this parents this this on this we i have to go just go and you would see we just go on the parents now i would expand this and you can see right first day we were here when i use this black slash dot dot then i can identify this so there are many times where we need to go to the parents so we can use this type of x path and we can go to the parents now again this is the following right suppose i have to there is a condition where i have no no there is a unique value on this input so there is a unique value for the so first i have to identify first name by text so i just 
write this way so you can see we have identified this but now i have to go on this input now if i write input it give it does not match any value and it gives me the error so how can i go to this input so by do by using following we can go to the this input just write following and input you see we can go on this input by using this type of x bar so guys this is the thing where we have to identify different type of x path i am just uh, giving you the just normal walk through over the how we can dif uh, identify different type of x path and it depends on the condition and application uh, some application we can easily identify the x path but some application we need to use different technology so following is one of the technology uh, one of the way to identify the x path here we can use child there are many way so these are the things which i am discussing is the commonly things by using this we can easily identify x path in any kind of application right now last x path with text so there are many condition where we need to uh, identify x path by text so how can we do first i have this is the one way to identify x path by text i write text and give the first name x path if i give suppose i have to click on here so just i give if new password uh, let me copy this it is bracket text items open close new password and, and you can see this new password we identify new password right so we can also use contents here just for contains we have to write this in this way we have to write now i just remove new i have just a password so i'm going to use contains text if text match this password this type of password just written for me so uh, i write this way of uh, x part to identify this password right so guys this is a different way to identify the x path hopefully you uh, can uh, know and you can uh, understand different way to identify the x path uh, if you have any question related with the x path anything else just please comment under my comment uh, comment section so that i can clear your doubts so hopefully you like this video and thank you for watching this